How to add trade lines to your credit report. A credit report trade line is simply an industry term to describe a credit account. If you have credit accounts, you therefore have trade lines on your report, and they may come in the form of line of credits, car loans, mortgages, credit cards, and payday advances. Since creditors look at trade lines to determine if you are creditworthy, adding positive trade lines credit accounts with good repayment history to your credit report can be very useful in helping you obtain credit. Creating new credit accounts. Understand the benefits of creating new credit accounts. When you create a new credit account, you accomplish a few things. First, you create a new trade line, which is a new opportunity to have a positive record on your credit report. Secondly, opening new trade lines can improve your credit score by increasing your total available credit and adding to the types of credit you have providing you are very responsible with payments. F equals hash underscore note 1, greater than 2 key factors that determine your credit score are the types of credit you have, including things like mortgages and credit cards, and the amount of credit you have compared to how much you have used. Having more kinds of credit improves your credit score, and having more credit also improves your credit score providing most of it is unused. Adding trade lines to your account can easily destroy your credit score if you are not extremely responsible with the new credit accounts. In fact, a wise suggestion is to not even use the new credit you have, or only use it once a month for a small amount just to show positive repayment history. Decide if you need to create new trade lines. If you already have good credit from a variety of different credit sources and a good history of paying off that debt, chances are you don't need to add additional trade lines. The important thing is to strive for quality over quantity. You want several different lines of credit, like a credit card or two and a mortgage payment, that you've paid consistently for years. In addition, be sure to stay well below the limit on your credit cards. It won't hurt you to add more trade lines if you're careful with them, but after a certain point adding more won't significantly increase your credit score. Apply for a secured credit card. One trade line that is both easy to get approved for and hard to abuse is a secured credit card. This is an excellent place to start if you want to add trade lines to your account and have poor credit. A secured credit card requires a security deposit equal to the amount of your credit line. Simply deposit the predetermined amount in your account, and then you can borrow against it. You can apply for a secured credit card online through your local bank, or you can visit the branch and apply there. Most banks offer some form of secured credit card, like unsecured credit cards. These cards do have fees, generally an interest rate and an annual fee. It is wise to shop around beyond your local bank to compare interest rates and annual fees to make sure you are getting the best deal possible. Apply for credit accounts through department stores and merchants. Gas stations, credit unions, department stores, furniture retailers and jewelry stores are among creditors who sometimes have relatively lenient qualification processes and are, therefore, good places to start if you don't already have strong credit. These cards usually offer discounted purchases from the store as well. Consider this option if you have poor credit and are having difficulty getting approved for a traditional card. It is also important that you frequently use the store through which you are getting the card. This will allow you to build credit while saving money at the store. Note that these cards often have higher rates than traditional credit cards. As a result, it is important set clear limits to how much you can spend. Namely, never spend more than you can afford to pay in a single month. It is important to remember the goal of adding trade lines is to improve your credit, and it is therefore important to be very strict with any new credit accounts. Consider this option if you have poor credit and are having difficulty getting approved for a traditional card. It is also important that you frequently use the store through which you are getting the card. This will allow you to build credit while saving money at the store. Note that these cards often have higher rates than traditional credit cards. As a result, it is important to set clear limits to how much you can spend. Namely, never spend more than you can afford to pay in a single month. It is important to remember the goal of adding trade lines is to improve your credit, and it is therefore important to be very strict with any new credit accounts. Consider more traditional credit products. If you have the credit score and feel like you can responsibly manage more credit, consider applying for an additional credit card or a line of credit. Generally speaking, try to apply for a type of credit you do not have. If you already have a credit card, consider applying for a line of credit. This shows creditors you can handle different types of credit. If you are unable to obtain approval for these types of products, consider using a co-signer. A co-signer is a friend, relative, or other individual who is willing to agree to pay the loan if you cannot. This can help gain approval. Remember that if you stop paying, you can damage the credit of your co-signer. Whatever new credit you get, use it sparingly. 
a good rule is never use more than 50% of your available limit. If you are unable to obtain approval for these types of products, consider using a co-signer. A co-signer is a friend, relative, or other individual who is willing to agree to pay the loan if you cannot. This can help gain approval. Remember that if you stop paying, you can damage the credit of your co-signer. Whatever new credit you get, use it sparingly. A good rule is never use more than 50% of your available limit.